Hello and welcome to Queens of God. I'm Sister Nancy. I want to talk about the importance of cleansiness. What does it mean? You know, they say cleansiness is next to godliness. And I believe in this quite strongly. Cleansiness actually means to be clean. It's that simple. Clean environment. Clean body. But I'm talking about cleansiness in general. As a woman, are you clean? Are you hygienic? Do you make sure your house is tidy? Your bathroom, your toilet, your bed, you know, the kitchen. Because the Holy Spirit resides, you know, he makes himself manifest and he makes his abode where there's organization, where there's cleansiness. You know, where it's clean, the Holy Spirit can operate and function effectively in their environments. Even when your mind is clean, not full of junk, your heart is clean, not full of junk. The Holy Spirit can operate and function properly, work through you. And you can see the power of God and results, you know, manifest in your life. When there's cleansiness in your environment, cleansiness of your body. As a woman, this should come natural to you, you know, to be clean. Because, like I say, we are the primary caregivers. We take care of our home. We take care of people. That's our role. It's natural. And it's natural, therefore, to clean your environment. I'm sure many of you do this anyway. You clean after your children. We find ourselves, we clean nappies, <laughs> you know. Clean, 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 clean. Every day, that's your job as a mother. Even if you're not, you know, a mother, you don't have children. But as a woman, it's, it should be, your, you know, it's innate. It's an instinct. You just want to clean things. You want to keep things fresh and pure and light. You know, because that's women, we're like flowers. We just blossom. We just want to you know, be free and fresh and pure and beautiful. But beauty is clean. So I inspire you today and empower you today and encourage you today to be clean. You know, make sure your environment is clean, cleansed. Clean up yourself. Have a, par have a bath morning and night, you know. Especially women, you know, we have our menstrual cycle we need to be clean <laughs> you know do you know what i'm talking about even at night you have a bath at night you make sure you're cleansed clean out your you know negative thoughts from your mind and your heart if there's any bitterness clean it out so god can work through you and you can see results in your life positive results you see the holy spirit work in your life have a spring clean even in spring and summer when summer at the moment right now you know summertime for me, it's a time I just want to clean everywhere. I want to clear out all the junk in my house, you know, in the shed. I like to give things away to charity. I like, I, it's like a fresh start for me, that spring and summer time. Clean time. Spring time, spring clean time. That's what I say. So clean your bathroom every day if you have to. For me, I like a clean environment. I feel like I can function better when my house is clean. So I inspire you today to do the same thing. Remember, cleansiness is next to godliness. So this is what I bring to you today. So stay up and stay in charge. For you're a queen of God. God bless you. Thank you.